Hi, welcome. This is a second video for the November release. This is still the virtual box, right? We've updated 19.10.1 to 9.11.3. The kernel is so we rebooted, restarted everything, did everything what we're supposed to do. Maybe it's a good thing to repeat, update, then maybe an after an update and up all, and afterwards we type a scale and maybe a CP as well, and backup scale is also interesting, right? But okay, that's the things we did in previous video, how to update Arch Linux. Now, this video is about uh, all the new stuff. So let's open up Vivaldi. Let's close everything else, close other things. I have this article at this point in time, uh, not hidden, but shown but it will be hidden after this video again until we have the release date because it's still pointing to the AAG. So if you want to download already, you can download it because it's already there for the guys that want to be the beta testers. Arch Linux Auditing Group is what we call the beta testers for the world, okay? And on Discord, you put on there, okay, everything is fine, Eric, or this is an image and that. And uh, of course, also the issues, if there are issues, Please report them so we can get it out of the market before it's even launched. All right, that's the idea. Now, in here we have the, this article is at this point in time, like I said, shown, but will be hidden later on. What's gonna happen, what's new in the November release? In the November release, the main thing we've done is uh, we worked on the Calamars. Well, I was waiting on code from Adrian to, Im to improve, um, well, the way how the VM Linux kernel is going to be put on any Arch Linux distro out there. So we had this, um, let's say a hack on a particular module, which uh, helped us do things, but at uh, some point in time, they made it um, from Python to C++. So there was no configuration file or a Python file where we could add it on or so we could our hack was lost, let's say, and we needed to get this done. So we jumped from 3.2.10. We gave Adrian and his, his team, of course, the Calamaris team in general, uh, gave him time to actually uh, write code so that uh, the Linux kernel is going to go at the right place at the right time with the right name as well. So I need to have a um, name change. So anyway, I um, wanted to wait for that because it has a huge impact and workload on Arch Linux. There are 34 packages you get that uh, get changed by it. So um, yeah, I wanted to wait till everything was, was uh, tested and everything was approved and everything was working before I do any change from one to the other. So this means that we have um, jumped some versions and maybe people that had problems with Calamaris um, well, they, they can uh, now install Arch Linux or Arch Linux D or Arch Linux B because they all have the same Calamaris. Now, even so, uh, let's think about this, guys. Uh, Calamaris is a free, let me stress that word, free uh, graphical installer for any Linux system out there. And even if things are not up to specs in your eyes and your personal preferences and all that, this is the place to go. If you have an issue, there are, I think, about 30, 34 articles, videos, all about stuff, knowledge, how to use Calamaris, where is Calamaris coming from, uh, encrypted, not encrypted, uh, with Windows, not Windows, four partitions, two partitions, and so on. I've tried it all out. I've spent a lot of time in it. There's a lot of knowledge in here. Go and have a look if you have an issue with the Calamaris installer. Arch Linux Applications Calamaris and then the article, all you ever needed to know, and it's going to grow. Every time I make a new video, there's new impact or new stuff we can teach you. Arch Linux is there to share the knowledge. Okay, so we have to keep this one open. Um, next thing uh, we've done is Kali 2. So we started with the Kali versions. So customized Arch Linux ISO, this is for people who wanna build their own ISO and for themselves or for, to start a distribution on Arch Linux. And we have here the Kali one. So anything, any article 
concerning the first start and they are always numbered one two three four and you can follow along what changes we've made and we'll do exactly the same thing with carly 2. now carly 2 is uh, a start that has been created because of the fact that um, the base package is changed i did mention that somewhere here as well this one so at some point in time we got this message on archlinux.org guys this is what you should look we are based on arch linux so you could uh, should keep track of all these things that are posted here the latest news okay so okay um it resulted in an cuddly 2 version where we had to change some of the applications inside um well our arch iso but we'll do it the exercise again so it's the 27th of october which means on the first then we see an arch linux download here we'll see one shortly this is still version of october so when there's the version of 1101 we'll again do the exercise to compare it with uh, cali 2 and see if we can um, improve it or change it or anything like it and then we keep on moving on to to how to build an iso from scratch so that's the carly project all right drop down terminal xfc4 so if we press now the button f12 we have this in a beautiful laid out and themed way where you can just say up all and just do it uh, as well the one thing is if you move out of it it's just away that's what mean it means to have a drop down terminal even so, if you don't like it, there is a right mouse click preferences and here you can set some stuff in the drop down. These are our preferences. You change them anyway, you see fit. Okay, so the drop down terminal is there. That's is, is um, there in Herbsluft WM and in um, BSP WM as well. At this point in time in open box as well, because well, if you have the Arc Linux ISO, you have it the open box XFC in i3. It's not in i3, it's only an open box and XFC. All right, general improvements. We have uh, dropped some things, terminus fonts, the temps is out of date, three years, no maintenance means you're out. Font manager needs an update, doesn't get it. So font manager git is working, gets updates, so he's in. Xterm is out, we have XC, XFC uh, terminal, four terminal. Uh, we have your XVT, so I thought one one less terminal would be great. And then a tip from someone, somebody, so users give us info and say, this is the look of your terminal if you use the terminal font hack. There are so many terminals, uh, fonts out there. I mean, just install them later on and then use them. But this one was nice enough to be included. One out, one in, right? So, the um, another thing that we've done is a change so fc if you ch type fc these days you see a application right so it's not oops sorry it's not the idea to actually um, make an alias that of an existing application right so what we've done is just say let's rename fc to update fc which means update the fonts so all the fonts that are on your machine are now uh, have a cache here you see FC cache succeeded. Okay, done. Bash RC, we have now SR, sudo reboot. I have been using it all the time these days. Not gonna do it right, so no, R, SR, sudo reboot. We've typed it all the time, sudo reboot, and it's taken too long. <laughs> X resources looking nicer, so I mean Super T, that's the thing. Uh, Super T is just for me in the sense that it's the tool to go to seat host where all our packages are host or the hosting of our repos is on seat host and we've done just uh, today a maintenance of it so yes um, this is for me the best way to uh, talk to a server over ssh so it'll be a little, little bit tweaked uh, so it's nicer touchpads for the guys on xfce some settings if you have a laptop double tapping is on and the reverse scrolling is on and really hated it that it didn't do what i expected it to do but you can set it off again or change it again in your settings 
in a touchpad. I don't have a touchpad at this point in time. It's gonna be in here somewhere, uh, gonna be in here, but I'm on a, well, desktop here. All the Linux LTS kernels have been updated, but you know how it is with updates. Um, once you do an update a week later, there's another update, but we have a newer uh, Linux LTS version on the ISO. The standard slim lock theme has changed. So if we type this one, you see, we have this, uh, this change here. This used to be uh, the look, this is the old look. And if you wanna have the new look, then actually we should do something. We forgot to do that. But it's not important uh, at for certain what uh, what uh, lock screen you have it's is super unimportant you can change it but you can also install it and that's what i'm gonna do article linux i th think it's called slim lock or something a slim 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 just slim if you reinstall the package well the new settings are in all right so okay so that's that and on the mouse face, yes, it's just some fun up from time to time. We have to have a fun script. And the next months, maybe if there's still a need to, we'll keep writing head of sleuth topium. We're also comparing um, tiling window managers. We start to feel that there are divergences between keyboard shortcuts between all these things and we try to synchronize it as, as best as possible. But of course, they are, they are different desktops, so they will respond differently. But we'll try to keep it as one whole between all these five desktop well, tiling window managers. Well, the next step is, of course, keep on track with Carly. And the video is, there's already created, I have already created a video how to stay rolling. And this video is what is new. So there you are. Um, if there's more questions, you see here, we use the Nemesis script for post installation. We also use this one, the Arco Get Started. I've mentioned that one as well. The number has changed. We're now at Arco Get Started 3, and in the future will be 4 and 5. So keep track of things. I will we'll tell you guys uh, with this uh, kind of posting on social media, on Discord, where you um, can talk to us, where you see the most important stuff happening. Like for instance, today we said on Discord, guys, we'll have a change. Oh yeah, this is not, uh, this virtual machine doesn't have Discord. Anyway, so that's, that's it for me, guys. Um, we have, um, that's what we've done these months or month and you'll see more information here. Oh yeah, if you do say, hey, where are all the ISOs? Eric, you forgot to make some ISOs up here. Then you go to Arch Linux seed host. You'll say something, Oop, that's being right. Look, I'll prove it to you. Google.be, Arch Linux seed host. There you go, second. AAG. So you'll see that our, all the desktops are here, all the elements are here, but not the minimal, the bare. Some of them are, but um, not the LTS and so on. So you have to build them. If you're not up to building in that simple, then you go to the ISO in here. This is our milestone. Here is everything from all 64 ISOs. You download that one, update the system, and you're up and running like we are. Okay, so that's the last message here. Arch Linux B, ISO's missing. Well, go and have a look at those or you build it yourself because the point always been the point of Arch Linux B, build it yourself. The idea is that we cannot build an ISO for everybody. The idea is that you choose what you want and then follow the tutorials along and change some things. Do, do not want Firefox, I do want Vivaldi, etc., etc. All the changes, Steam on it, etc. You just type or uh, hashtag out words, applications, and then uh, run the script and you have your own personalized ISO. That's the point of Arklings B. All right, enjoy the new updates, guys. Cheers.